last year, certain WWE and AEW segments were a bit too rated R for our TV screens. I'm Emily May, and here are five non-PG wrestling moments of 2022. Number five, Carmella and Graves make out on Raw. At WrestleMania 38, Carmella and Queen Zelina lost the women's tag team titles to Sasha Banks and Naomi. The night after on Raw, Vega accused Carmella of costing them their tag team titles at the grandest stage. Zelina made things even more personal when she claimed that Corey Graves was a fool for choosing to marry Carmella. Eventually, words turned to action as Zelina started to beat down her ex-partner. The former women's champion was forced to retreat to Graves' corner who was at the announcer's table. The Raw commentator then tried to reassure and upset Carmella, which soon turned into a steamy makeout session that lasted really long and was way too much for a PG audience. Now that's one way to generate heat. Number four, Sammy Guevara and Ty Mello's promo. After Sammy Guevara's relationship with Ty Mello became public earlier this year, they have not shied away from PDA no matter where they are. On the March 23rd episode of AEW Dynamite, they took their raunchiness to new heights by cutting a controversial promo. To recap, Sammy had lost the TNT Championship to Scorpio Sky a couple of weeks before that, so Dan Lambert, along with Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page, came out to interrupt the couple's promo on the Dynamite episode. Lambert denied granting Sammy a rematch for the TNT TNT title and kissed the title, but Sammy and Ty dropped the bomb by saying that they had done some X-rated stuff with the TNT Championship. Lambert's instant regret at his actions made this segment hilarious. Ty even tweeted out some proof later on for the non-believers. You guessed it, it's not PG. Number three, Christian Cage cursing Jungle Boy's mother. Christian Cage defined what it means to be a heel when he decided to turn on his protege, Jungle Boy. He took the gloves off during his turn on the June 15th episode of AEW Dynamite. On Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus lost the AEW World Tag Team titles to the Young Bucks in the main event of the show. Following the loss, Christian turned on Jungle Boy and delivered a vicious concerto. He then unleashed a series of profane insults on Jungle Boy's mother and sister who were present in the arena. Cage insulted the former tag team champion's mother. This ordeal happened after the show had gone off the air, but the video still made it on the internet. Number two, Brock Lesnar driving a forklift into Roman Reigns' car. When it comes to Brock Lesnar, we expect things to be a little unfiltered. This was evident in the build to his match with Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 38. The March 18th episode of WWE SmackDown opened with Reigns' special counsel, Paul Heyman, receiving a message from Lesnar saying that he would not show up. The Beast, however, later showed up swerving the bloodline. Reigns and the Usos attempted to flee the scene by driving away in another car, but Lesnar was waiting for them inside with a forklift in the parking lot. The Beast Incarnate was grinning from ear to ear as he rammed the forklift into Roman's car, which seemingly injured Reigns and the Usos. Lesnar basically attempted to murder Reigns on live TV. The bloodline managed to get away in another vehicle, but Lesnar managed to rip apart one of the doors. Just Brock Lesnar stuff. You know. Number one, Cody Rhodes wrestling with torn pecs. Cody Rhodes returned to WWE at WrestleMania 38 and immediately got into a heated feud with Seth Rollins, which culminated in a Hell in a Cell match. Unfortunately, Rhodes had completely torn off his pectoral muscle days before the match. Despite the injury, the American Nightmare was cleared by WWE to wrestle in the match before undergoing a surgery. At Hell in a Cell, as Rhodes removed his jacket to reveal the grisly injury on his chest, it received an audible gasp of surprise from the live crowd and probably everyone watching. It was not a pretty sight and Rollins Rollins torturing him during the match made it really uncomfortable to witness. This was one of those rare occasions in which someone wrestled a full match with a legit injury. Respect. And that's our list. Thank you for watching Sportskeeda Wrestling.